Okay, everybody, and we are back with these ranked matches. A lot of my subs said they want to see me run with the Bulls, and that's what this game is, man. This is the Chicago Bulls against Melo and the New York Knicks. I know coming into this game that we didn't have D-Rose, but it's okay, man. Uh, I already know the rosters are not going to update on 2K until the finals is completely over. That's my boy Jimmy Butler at the top of the key starts off the game pretty much with a three. And uh, I have a couple new subs, man. And if y'all new to the channel, I want to welcome y'all here. Uh, don't forget to give your boy the finger. And if you want to see me run with a certain team, let me know down in the comments below. I probably have ran with the team already. Just go back and look at, you know, the videos from, you know, the past week or whatever. But uh, Raymond Felton, he has the ball right now. He passes off to Melo. Melo is going to get Mike Dunleavy into the post. You know, Melo is known as a bully down in the post, man. There's nothing Mike Dunleavy can do with him. I was worried about that matchup the whole game. I said, I hope he don't cheese that matchup but if I was him that's exactly what I would do but uh right now we have the ball Kurt Heinrich is my point guard right now we get it out to Jimmy Butler I'm gonna try to go ahead and go into the post and you know just do the turnaround fade away excellent release jumper before he bring a double team that's all day for Carlos Boozer man Merriman Felton he has the ball he's trying to bring it up real quick I don't know what type of defense I was playing right here but Melo was wide open on the wings and he makes me pay for it with a three man I'm like come on we gotta play better D than that but right here Jimmy Butler's playing the, the pass lanes he cocks it way back down to his right calf muscle and his right ass cheek I mean he cocked it way down I'm talking about he brought it way down there to the damn bottom of his shoelace I mean he that was just nasty Jimmy Butler is a damn dog in this game right here we get it down into Mike Dunleavy. He's just going to, you know, do a little pump fake and go straight to the basket and just put the layup in, man. I mean, the offense is looking beautiful right now. He plays the pass the lane with Melo. He doesn't get that loose ball, but Tony Snell, ugly ass, get it down into Taj Gibson. Taj Gibson give it off to Jimmy Fadette. Jimmy Fadette give it off to Nazi Muhammad. Shot clock running down, get it out to a better shooter. And Jimmy Fadette, and he knocks down that jumper, man. I mean, Jimmy Fadette is a dog too, man. You're going to see a lot of Jimmy Fadette in this video. But right here, Prigione. He has the ball right now. He's running the break. He's not running the break, but he's running the offense. We playing very good defense on Melo. Look at this defense that we playing on Melo. Melo isn't getting anywhere. We play good D. Hands up. Jimmy Fadette gets the rebound. He's running the break. The C is gonna wide open up for me, and I'ma just pull up the shot right at the top of the key. Wide open three for Jimmy Fadette, man. Our Jimmy Fadette is just—he's deadly. His shot is deadly, man. That's the best way I can describe it. But right here, Stadamire, he has the ball. He's stumbling around. Gerald Smith, he pulls up this three. Nazi Bahamas get this uh, rebound. We're going to get it out to Jimmy for dead again. You already know what I'm going to do. If I see just a little bit of tiny piece of a space, I'm going to pull up that shot with Jimmy. Jimmy has eight points already, man. And he just came off the bench. Melo, he has the ball. He's running the break. We stop him in his tracks. Melo goes to the to the wing, pull up this three, and uh, we got to play better than that, man. Melo, he has nine points, three or five for shooting, but he's two from two for the uh, from the three-point line, so we have to play better D on Melo. Right now, we have the ball. We get it out to Taj Gibson. Taj Gibson has stat in the uh, post. We get it out to Nazi Muhammad. Nazi Muhammad, he gets it back down into Taj. He throws up the pump fake, pull it up again, and Taj gives me the dunk, man. So we have a lead right now, very good, comfortable lead. I don't want to say comfortable because... You know, you can lose a lead real quick in 2K because you know fuckery happens in the third quarter. And the third quarter is not here yet, but you know it's coming up soon. But uh, he knocks down another three right here. He makes us pay for bad defense. And uh, right now we have a four-point lead. And this is a, a play that I love to run with this playbook, man. That's Jimmy Butler again on the wing knocking down another three. I mean, the threes are just falling for me in this game. But uh, we have a seven-point lead right now. Raymond Felton, he has a ball. We're in the third quarter. We play the pass the lanes with Kurt Heinrich. Kurt Heinrich, you know we're going to just run and throw that alley. Y'all don't see me throw a lot of alleys because y'all know I don't play that flashy. I know, you know, that's a lot of people really don't like that about my videos. Y'all not going to see a lot of alleys, but, you know, on a rare occasion, if I know I'm going to catch the alley, I go ahead and throw it. But Melo, he gets a steal right here, pulls it up. You already know Melo is a beast, a damn bully, so there's no stopping him going to the rack. He has 11 points to start off early. So everything is going good for him. Kurt Henry, he has the ball. Melo is all out of position right now. He says he's going to deny me my three. I'm like, all right, so you're just going to deny your boy that three like that? I'm like, cool, but I do have a good shooter. And Kurt Henry with a quick release, he pulls up this shot at the top. of key knocks down that three. And I was like, okay, if you didn't give me one three, I'll take the other. So we went up by eight at that point. Right now we're up by 648 to 42. He has the ball. 
I have the ball, but I misses his layup. Stack gets the rebound. He's going to pass it back out to Chandler. Chandler gets it off the Iron Shumper, and the Shumper puts in that layup right over Jimmer for dead. He's too small for him. So the offense for him is starting to click too. You know, he's getting this offensive legs up under him. He closes the gap a little bit, but he has Mike James. He just leave him wide open. And, um, you know, DJ Augustine, he's supposed to be the uh, point guard coming off the bench for Kurt Heinrich, but I do not like DJ Augustine's uh, release. So you right here, this Jimmer for dead again, deadly. Don't care who's on him. I mean, the boy just deadly, man, dead eye. But um, I have Mike James in for DJ Augustine just because I hate his shot release. And uh, I made a very good decision because Mike James doing right here again. Three-pointer. I don't know why they keep leaving him open. They're not showing my boy any respect, but you're going to respect them after today. That gives us an eight-point lead. It's 56-48. to 48. We have to play good defense right here. He just want to go to the rack real quick. He gets it off to Tyson Chandler. Tyson Chandler goes in for the dunk. So we have a six-point lead at that point. Right now we're up by eight, up by five. Um, 58 to 43. You see, we just hustling right here. Look at all this hustling that we're doing. Taj Gibson has it in the paint. he been in the key for five seconds. I don't know why they're not calling it, but we get the offensive rebounds. We put it back up with Taj Gibson, man. You know that's what Taj Gibson does, man. We just, we're hustling right now. That's why I have my point of emphasis. It's always on crash defensive glass and crash the offensive glass. No matter what, I'm going to have those two set and those going to pretty much stay where they are. I try to take care of everything else myself. Right here, he just goes to the rack with Prigioni. I don't know how I just let that man go to the rack that easily and get that layup. Right here, we pass it off into uh, Kurt Heinrich. Kurt Heinrich get it down to Carlos Boozer. He's not giving me uh, he didn't want to give me the uh, lane because he tried to bag up with Melo but I mean Carlos Boozer you know Melo is not known for his defense so I just go right at him. Carlos Boozer puts in that layup and speaking about no defense that's me playing no defense again and giving him the wide open lane. I said we got to play better D than that right now we have a six point lead 64 to 59. We only have two minutes left in this quarter. I'm trying to get Boozer down into the paint. He's trying to bully Melo. He get his offensive rebound right back. Points of emphasis. Clash. Crash offensive rebounds. Crash defensive rebounds. And that's the reason why. But um, I really want Jimmer for death to end this game off, man. There's no way this guy's going to come back on me right now. We have a little bit over a minute left. And that's Jimmer for death, like three feet behind the three-point line. He pulls up that shot. That gives us a 10-point lead, man. You're going to see Jimmer for death. He's going to show his face again. Jimmer for death playing the pass the lanes. I'm not going to pass it. I'm going to let him do whatever he needs to do, whether they get blocked or not. But he goes in for the layup, and he get that shot to go. So I'm like, man, Jimmer for death is a damn dog, man. You got to – I don't know why y'all tell me about Jimmy for that man a lot of people want me to play with the Bulls but y'all don't let me know about Jimmy for that man the dog the dude is just a beast man he's a beast on offense and right here Jimmy for that again I'm not passing it he has a fire symbol up on him you know I'm just dribbling around waiting till I get some space he gave me a little tiny piece of a space and I knocked that shot down that pretty much killed his, you know, his thoughts or his his wishes for a comeback. He wasn't gonna come back anyway. But uh, Melo, he puts up the shot right here. We close out on Melo. We're trying to get it off to Jimmy for dead, you know, just to get his stats up a little bit more. His fire symbol is red now. Jimmy for dead has the ball, get it down into uh, Joe Kim Noah. Joe Kim Noah puts in that shot. Right now, it's only 30 seconds left in the game. I'm running this play for Jimmy for dead again to go into the corner. I have just a little bit of piece of a space, and I put in that shot. 77 to 61, man. That's the end of the game. Jimmer for dead is the player of the game, man. Jimmer is a damn beast, man. Y'all didn't tell me about Jimmer. Y'all know how much I love shooters, but I'm glad y'all told me to run with the Bulls. But um, if y'all want to see me play with the Bulls again and want me to use a certain person, because, I mean, I know I'm running with teams that y'all want to see me run with, but at the same time, you know, every time I put up a video, you say, you know, you should have used this person or, you know, you can use this person. This person is good for that. So if it's somebody else that's on the Bulls that you know I can use, like Tony Snell, ugly ass, or you want me to use DJ Augustine with his fucked up shot release, if you want me to go in the post with Carlos Boozer, if you want me to run the offense like a point guard and kill people for three with Kurt Heinrich, if you want to see me just throw shots in the damn third row with Joe Kim Noah, play defense and grab rebounds and get in the post with him and try to get points y'all let me know man and if not y'all through with me you know if y'all feel like i'm through with the bulls just let me know what next team y'all want to see me run with as promised you know i brought y'all the bulls but the next game that's going to come up will be the pelicans i don't know why y'all want to see me run with the pelicans i believe on that squad if i'm not mistaken drew holiday is um 
I think he's injured. So uh, the next video that's going to come up right after this one is going to be the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, man. That's a game I'm looking forward to. And um, we can see what we can do with them, man. But you can see just the, the offensive scoring that we got from this team. I mean, everybody pretty much scored in this game. You can see the stats right here. Joe Kim Noah came out with a double-double. But Jimmy Fadette, he was the, you know, the player of the game. You know, he was the MVP of this game. But the uh, Pelicans is coming up next. If y'all feeling the video, give your boy the finger. It's your boy Shaw. I'm signing out. Y'all have a good one.